Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the CLR error code 8000-4005 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. It says that this program will now terminate. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I recommend doing would be to open up a web browser of your choice. And I'm going to have a link to a Net Framework Repair Utility in the description of the video. It's hosted on Microsoft's website here. If for whatever reason they might remove this web page down the road, which sometimes they do, it might be an archive link I will have in the description of the video. But nonetheless, there should be a link down here to this Microsoft support page. This is Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool. Select the Download button. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. And then select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. You want to accept the license terms and select next. Select next again. And then once it's done, select next. And then once it's done, select finish. And now you want to go ahead and restart your device. And now that we're back into Windows, hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in Windows Features. Best match, you can back to turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. Versus .NET Framework, you want to unselect or just have empty boxes next to all the .NET Framework entries in here. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. And then select Close. Restart your computer. And now open up the search menu again. Type in Windows Features. Best match, turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. And then check mark next to all of the Net Framework entries in here. So there's just a filled in box. Then select OK. Select Let Windows Update Download the Files for You. And give this a moment here. And then once it's done, close out of here and restart your device again. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.